25 hours after fracture in time. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the play. Wait, am I gonna play as Paul? Now I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. Clear, Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. I have no idea what's going on, the dude. Honestly, decision is a unified Me neither. Moving forward. Me neither. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be in route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. We started it's up a time machine and broke time. Now, uh, Good. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Uh, Jack Joyce, Liam Burke over there, can, sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Uh, on how to proceed? What, what, what do you want me to do? Oh, I get to choose? My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. The junction reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each junction point will steer, steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Choose wisely. Hold to show hardline. Hold to show PR. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Christ. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to steal. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets.
Okay, so... I'm confused, right? Because if Jack is the main character, maybe I shouldn't be thinking of this like there's a main character. You know, I'm, I'm controlling multiple actors in a story, I guess. Um... So it seems like it gets harder for Jack if I do the PR thing. However, he gets something out of it. He learns secrets. I don't know. I'm not really sure what the consequences could possibly be because I'm not... Anybody have any input? I'm inclined to agree with, uh, with Titan that... PR seems like the move. I guess like whatever, right? We'll just see how it plays out. We'll do PR. The soft touch. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! But it's all fucked up. It probably sends them way the fuck back, doesn't it? I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Seventy-six percent of the community agreed with your choice. Oh, okay. So I didn't go against the grain, it looks like. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate Michael. God damn. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. I completely forgot. It's, at, it's live action. The graphics are crazy real. It's live action. This is an actual, like, TV show recording. Liam. 
walk with me. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Okay, so we jump back in time two hours after the fracture. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Brenner? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. No, what D, else? this is live action. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Yeah, rude. Get the fuck out of my office. I want to keep that on you, buddy. M? Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Oh, no. <sighs> Baby, you have 
haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they're kissing. So he's got a wife at home who's pregnant. He's gonna die. We know the rules. Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Yeah, don't get too attached. I'm not attached to anybody in this game. I, gotta go. I know better. I've been burned before. in order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... Oh, shit. clean on the street from monarch headquarters and has helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design and with monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in riverport it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us home there's been a development jack you've already seen it tonight on the island he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided to you. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. Was this a movie or a show? I think it's like its own thing. They made the movie to weave into the game. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us what is going on here. There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person. 
a terrorist. Two bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thanks. Day down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. I guarantee if you pick the other way, if you pick the other thing, it's a whole different movie sequence. They mentioned that it affects both. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. Is Maybe there a movie a slash tonight? series aside Thank from this? Kidding. No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Uh, we can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. Oh, she called him buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. Buddy. Yeah, he caught on. Yeah, you're just buddy. This isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the, the end of what? The end of, time, of, the end of, of time, time. Of time. Of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I give a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. The end for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! Yeah, get shit on. Oh, you're in deep now, mister. It's lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in?
Oh, it's got the runny. Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, I'd really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. <laughs> what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to. Yeah. Secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know, uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Damn. Damn. This is intense, guys. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get him in HR. Yeah, time to buckle up. Yeah, you thought. You thought. Fucking idiots! Damn, stop! Maybe if they like shot him in the leg or something instead of trying south to fight him hand to hand. Structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. I did read your message. Just one second. Okay, 
he's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Yeah, but you just gotta let yourself get turned in and just hope for the best, am I right? God damn.